this is the uh, 49 Studebaker, 48, 49 Studebaker pickup that we've had uh, for, it has been on the road since 1977, been all over the United States, we talked about it in the uh, video we did with uh, about Dad's car he's building. So this is kind of what started in a roundabout way, I guess, us trying to have a shop and around uh, years ago he quit drag racing and built this thing so when he was decided to build it he bought five pickup trucks out of pastures and wrecking yards wherever to get enough decent sheet metal to build the truck he used what he had that was usable and had to fix everything else but it's an uh, original frame uh, frame rails original that we like I said we built this back in the mid 70s is when he was building it so it has a 1974 or 75 Chevrolet square body type truck front suspension bolted to the stock frame rails we actually narrowed, narrowed the frame rails a little bit on each side about Five eighths to three quarters of an inch on each side to get it narrow enough for the frame, the cross member to slide up over the frame rails. But in doing that, we were able to run a Chevrolet engine. It's got a turbo 400 transmission. It also has a Chevrolet truck power steering box. And the Chevrolet truck long tube headers on it that have been on it. as he could, filed it, welded, ground some holes through it, filed some holes through it, welded them up, filed it back down, but that one initial can of Bondo that he bought back in when he started building the truck is the only plastic that he used on this whole truck, and he sanded most of that off. Uh, the areas that he did use it are starting to show after all these years. This thing's got 182,000 miles on it, because we reset the odometer when he built it over 40 some years uh, so yeah this is a basically about a 
331 cubic inch small block, tunnel ram, two floors, uh, angle plug head, 202 angle plug heads, just old school basic stuff. But this thing's been sitting a little over eight, nine months in their garage and it started right up, let it warm up, we're driving it to lunch today. We painted it a uh, 75, I believe it was 75 Chevy pickup uh, gunmetal gray. Uh, it's all lacquer paint. It shows all the miles on it. It's got plenty of rock chips. Uh, what else? No, no heater. No AC. As I said in that other 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 video, he's putting that in the car. Factory dash, factory gauges on this truck. Uh, the seat is out of a late 60s, uh, I want to say a late 60s old Tornado, so it's actually the front split back bench seat with the center armrest. Came out of an old Tornado. The steering column is a uh, uh, GM tilt. Interior's been in it, all the original the interior's been done since the 70s, since we built the truck. It's showing its life expectancy or its life uh, and time and age and whatnot. And uh, so the last time we drove it we ran down the highway. I think I took it to Austin to the Lone Star Roundup a couple of years back and got a big star in the windshield here from that's what happens when you drive them. And, uh, it's got old school.